What's up you players, you're Total Master, and if you didn't know, we got the reveal of the gameplay and basically the announcement yesterday that Rome 1 Remastered is coming on April 29th, so that's just over a month. I'm extremely excited, that's why I'm making a top 5 video of the things that I am really happy to see that were the best things I saw from the gameplay review yesterday. Massive thank you to Melkor who has given me the footage of his stream. Uh, yeah, and if you guys would like this video, make sure to join the environment, like and subscribe and comment down below. And uh, yeah, now let's get into the top 5 again. Thank you Melkor, go subscribe and let's go. So coming in as number 5 is the how the units are designed. I think they've done a great job of keeping the idea of the original Rome 1 while still making them look modern and you know, really good looking, like really cool looking. Now one of the main things is actually they're not clones anymore, they are um, different in their um, same unit because if you remember in Rome 1 if you had one unit, for example let's say General's bodyguard, everyone, well except the General, was looking completely the same. The same goes for Hastati, for Triarii, for any barbarian um, unit. They were just looking the same which you know was not the best but of course it was due to the limitations of that time. Well, now it's different. I'm really happy that now they're like uh, taking the approach like Medieval did and of course, you know, every other game after Medieval 2 that um, inside the unit the people are different. I think that also it depends where you recruit them. So if you can recruit them from Africa, they will have like, they'll look like Africans. If you um, recruit them from Scandinavia, they will, recruit, they will look Scandinavian. Although there's not a lot of Scandinavian. I'm just making examples basically. From the point of the world, you basically um, recruit them. They're gonna look like that, so European, Asian, African. I'm not exactly sure how many uh, of those different um, ethnic groups, I guess, the game covers, but yeah, nevertheless, I think that the units look extremely well made, and yeah, I think they look really cool. The next thing I really, really like is they basically kept the portraits of the family members. For example, over here we have Flavius Julius, we see Lucius Julius, Quintus Julius, and Fidius Julius. Uh, I think this is a very good homage to the uh, old Rome one, and I feel like, you know, it's just a great connection to have. It, it's maybe a small thing for some people, but for me it's like really cool, and you like, it's just kind of connects it. It's like one of the best parts of Rome 1, I felt like, were these portraits. I don't know, I think they were just done so well. And yeah, having them now again in the Rome 1 remastered, I think it's just a great connection between the games and a great homage to it and basically, you know, a love letter to the original Rome. Up next, I would like to say that the intro videos look fantastic. I've only seen them and heard them from Rome, sorry, from Julia and from the Greek states. But they look fantastic. Again, one of the best parts. I think they actually did it better in Rome than Medieval 2. I know, you know, like Total Master, Total Master saying that something Medieval 2 didn't do the best. But, anyways, um, because they were unique, the videos were also unique. For example, in Medieval 2, the narration was the same. Uh, sorry, the narration was different, but the video was the same for every faction, I'm pretty sure. But over here in Rome 1, we had a different video, a different donation for almost every um, faction. I think the o the ones that were not supposed to be played have it a bit differently, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the ones that were supposed to be played had different videos, have different narrations, and they're just epic. They just get you hyped for the game. They just get you, if you're Julia, you just want to kill some freaking goals. If you're Skippy, I want to burn Carthage. If you're Brutii, I don't know, I guess you want to kill the Greeks or something. I don't know. But anyways, it just gets you hyped, it's so cool, and I love that they, again, remade them, and probably, you know, it's again a homage, it's it's so good, because, I mean, this Rome remastered look, looks like a homage to the original game, and that's, I'm really happy about that, it just, I don't know, it makes me so happy, it's so excited. Coming in as number two, we have the option to switch between classic and remastered uh, features of this. So we have unit balancing, battles, campaign, and turn diplomacy, as well as merchant and trade. Um, 
we can of course swap between these two things if you want them to be classical or remastered of course they're um, explained in that uh, side bar on the right over there when uh, just under Melkor's beautiful face um, basically I think it's good because we all agree that Rome 1 isn't a perfect game of course but it's a great game so while admitting that it, it has some flaws but still not forcing us to s switch something we liked for example so I think this is just great because um, person to person everyone can decide how exactly they want to um, go with their uh, settings I guess. Do they want this to be as in classic or do they want this as in raster? There is one thing that I'm missing and I'm kind of sad is that they did not um, give the ability to use the old user interface because if they added this I think this would be so freaking epic. If they added uh, option to use the old user interface. I think this game would be freaking fantastic. By the way, I think actually Melkor was the one who gave them idea to use uh, the two different setting of classic and uh, <clears throat> what's it called uh, as well as a remastered version. So you know, great job you for giving that idea, Melkor, because I think that's just one of the better things. But as said, I'm missing one thing, which is um, the user interface option. But I'll be talking more about the things that maybe slightly disappointed me about the reveal in the next video. Uh, we'll be doing the top 5 cool disappointments or something like that for the Rome uh, Total War Remastered video. But yeah, nevertheless, um, I'm really happy that they did this and gave us the option to switch between classic and remastered options. And last but certainly not least, is the thing that you're listening through this whole video. It's the music. I think the soundtrack of Rome 1 was iconic. Um, what else can I say? I, perfect. Fitting. Amazing. Like it was, it kind of summed up the whole idea of a Roman era and gave us this music pieces that were I think just fantastically fitting to the setting to the feeling of the game it was just fantastic and now we're getting it again and I could not be more happy about that because um, I think it's it's great it does need not a lot of changing I think they did some small uh, quality of life changes maybe some quality of music changes but you know the the, the music and the soundtrack you know is um, inherently the same which of course I'm extremely happy with because I think it was one of the best parts. The, the, like, they're so iconic. The soundtrack is so freaking iconic, and I think that if they changed it, it would be a massive like backlash from the community. So luckily they have not, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy they haven't. So yeah, that's it. And this is the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of top five of the things I really really enjoyed about seeing in this Rome Remastered gameplay reveal. Again, massive massive thanks to Melkor who let me use his um, stuff for the video because of course I don't have the early access he does so I was able to record it from his YouTube video or stream. Um, and yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. I will be probably doing a top five disappointing things. Um, I'll have to think about it a bit more because I have to say I am positively surprised with how this is. There are, my main problem is the user interface, I will say. Um, from time to time, it might look a bit cartoony, but it's not too bad, I think. Um, overall, I'm really excited. I'm happy how it looks. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to join the club bar, make like, and subscribe, and comment down below. You can join me in Discord, you can join me on pa uh, Facebook, you can support me on Patreon. And as always, till next time, fuck off.